All right, thanks for watching. And from the creator of Matrix to the Power of a Matrix and Matrix the Root of a Matrix comes another crazy special. Namely, today I will find Matrix Choose a Matrix. Because it's not Pikachu I choose you, today it is 8 minus 4, 2, 2. I choose 2 minus 4, 2, 0. Whoa. Okay, however, you'll see it's very easy to define because what is H, A choose B? Well, if you repeat the definition of combination, this is just A factorial over B factorial times A minus B factorial. Now the question is, do you choose a left or a right inverse? Usually it matters, but you'll see today it won't matter. So in particular, let's just choose the right one. So a factorial times b factorial times a minus b factorial inverse. OK, why did I say it doesn't matter? Because it turns out those matrices a and b are very special. Because if you calculate a, b, it turns out it equals to b, a here. So they commute. And commuting matrices, they have a very special feature, which I've shown in a different video. Because not only can you diagonalize A and B, but you can actually diagonalize them with the same eigenvector. In other words, sure, we have A is PDP inverse, but it turns out the same P can also diagonalize B. So in other words, B is PEP inverse, okay. where, again, I calculated you know, P, D, and E to be the following. P is 2, 1, 1, 1, D is 6, 0, 0, 4, and E is 4, 0, 0, 2. Oh my god, I just noticed something. P, D, E. Whoa. <laughs> And, and they say PDs are everywhere. Isn't that true? And one little remark, quite interestingly. Okay. Notice, in order for this to be meaningful, at least in terms of numbers, we need A to be bigger than B. But in fact, here, in some sense, A is bigger than B. Because notice, this eigenvalue 6 is bigger than 4, and 4 is bigger than 2. So this is sometimes how we can define A is bigger than B if a minus b has positive eigenvalues. OK, and now let's see how this is useful in our definition of a choose b. Because remember, a choose b is a factorial times blah inverse. Yeah. Now, if a is pdp inverse, so this is pdp inverse factorial, and then times, let's do it like that, pep inverse, factorial, and then a minus b, because again, with the same p, this becomes p times d minus e, p inverse, okay. and then factorial. And the beautiful thing is, and I've done a video on this, if you want a factorial matrix that's diagonalizable, it's enough to put the factorial in the eigenvalues. So this becomes p d factorial, p inverse, and then times Again, here, P E factorial P inverse times P D minus E factorial P inverse inverse. And already we can see our first simplification. This P inverse and this P simplifies. OK, and we can continue. So this is P D P inverse. And then, again, if you want to take the inverse of a product, you just do the product of inverses, but in the different direction. So this becomes p inverse inverse. So p d minus e uh, factorial inverse. And then what are we left with? So e inverse, uh, sorry, e factorial inverse, and then p inverse. And then this cancels out. And then what we're left with is, let's see, um, p d factorial, and then again, e factorial, 
times d minus e factorial inverse p inverse but notice how similar this is to a choose b and in fact this becomes again you may or may not have guessed it p d choose e p inverse so to do a choose b you just do d choose e on the eigenvalues but it turns out for diagonal matrices d choose e that's just the choosing part on the eigenvalues so in fact in terms of what we had this becomes 2 1 1 1 now remember for d the eigenvalues are 6 and 4 for e it's 4 and 2 so you do 6 choose 4 0 0 4 choose 2 and then 2 1 1 1 inverse but then 6 choose 4 I believe that is 15, 0, 0, 4, choose 2, that is 6. And then the inverse is quite nice because it's determinant 1. So 1 over 1, and then 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, which in the end just gives us 2, 1, 1, 1. All right, let's see. So 15 times 1, and then I mean, you do 15 on the first row and 6 on the second row. 15 minus 15 minus 6 and 12 which gives you I think 30 minus 6 which is 24 and let's see minus 30 times plus 12 that is minus 18 15 minus 6 that is 9 and then minus 15 plus 12 that is minus 3 and lo and behold, this is 8, 4. Yes, this becomes, again, 8 minus 4, 2, 2. Choose, what was it? Uh, 2 minus 4, 2, 0. <laughs> Isn't it crazy or is it crazy awesome? I don't know. I really like it. And by the way, so of course here we're lucky because not, <coughs> not only are they diagonalizable, but they're simultaneously diagonalizable. But more generally, how would you define you know, A choose B? Well, it's still the same definition. But, well, you have to replace stuff. So remember A choose B, right? we define it to be A factorial times, again, b factorial times a minus b factorial inverse. I think in general the order does matter if you take the right inverse or the left inverse. But someone can correct me on this. But what is the analog of a factorial? Well, it's just the gamma function. So it just becomes gamma of a plus i and then times gamma of b plus i times gamma of a minus b plus i, I get inverse. And so again, if the order matters, it's interesting because we could have a left choose function and a right choose function. And by the way, very interesting application of this principle, so of the a factorial is gamma a plus i principle on my channel, definitely check it out. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.